Well, we often take for granted the speed and quality of care our first responders provide when we are most in need. Have you ever wondered what it's like on a typical 24-hour shift where sleep is an afterthought? We sent Fox San Antonio's Andrew Lafham along with them for a day to see for himself. Andrew Lafham, this is, this is Rob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the station. Thank you. 24 hours. There we go. Let's do it. Station 19 near the I-10-410 interchange is about to be our home for the next day with the sea shift. We just met Captain Mike Garcia. He's a 23-year veteran. To his firefighters, he's known as Cap. There's 14-and-a-half-year veteran Laura Gurrier. Four and a half year vet Jenny Park. And about to start his 19th shift ever, rookie Christian Calderon. So the first thing we do when we get here is check out our engine. Ding, ding, ding. Stop. Oh, they just got their first call of the day. I'm trying not to cuss that, but no promises. It's called in as a 39-year-old man in cardiac arrest. We're the first to respond. Check if you find a pulse. Okay, let me know when you want compression started. The compressions aren't enough. They decide to administer epinephrine. The man, though, is unresponsive. Feel any resistance? No. We switched fingers and went up to, went up to 100. Yeah. The stretcher comes back the way it went in. Engine 19 is back in service. The first responders have to put that death behind them. This is how they deal with the death they experience every day. You can't sit there and, and constantly think about it. Our day is so busy, it, it makes it a little bit easier for us to, to not get caught up in it. As we wait for the next run, Cap gives us a tour. I even take a slide down one of the two poles that still get used regularly. It's a two-car crash now. The firefighters treat two minor injuries. Now it's a structure fire. As Christian changes into his gear, Cap navigates Jenny, this shift's driver. And you're going to take a lift, go past San Pedro. Just like that, dispatch calls them off. It's back to the station. Laura, Jenny, and Christian gear up again, this time for a workout. Five rounds going through firefighting like maneuvers. Before they could finish, though, their next call comes in one after another. First for a man that apparently threw himself in front of traffic that's now home with the bump on his head. Another accident, this time a car spins out in the rain on I-10. Before their next call, it's their routine trip to H-E-B for dinner. More on that later. Ten minutes after returning from the store, a call for a mentally unstable man. Now it's a call for a young boy that's choking. Thank goodness the medics were there for yeah. the four-year-old, you know it? Sucks. They make it inside and hear a good sound. That crying means he's no longer choking. Monday through Friday, each shift is responsible for cleaning something at the station. Today it's under the hood in all its compartments. Dinner is served. Everyone that's eating throws in $5. A meat and two sides. That's a requirement if you're cooking. And the rumors are true. Firefighters can cook. As night falls on Station 19, we start and finish the movie The Martian. All movies, cable, and other miscellaneous costs come out of a house allowance. They owe $25 per month. So you just yeah. never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to sleep with an eye open. You're just kind of like, all right. As soon as you start falling, it's just like, boom, it goes off. And you just like, yeah. hit it hard. A man is having trouble breathing. After about an hour of sleep, an 18-year-old woman has complications with her cancer treatment. While they provided each of us with our own dorm room, photographer Rob and I crash on these couches downstairs for a few hours. We didn't want to miss anything. But after just a few hours of sleep, we're back on a call. An elderly man is unconscious. A half hour and some fluids later, he comes to and we're clear. The calls fall quiet the rest of the morning. We hose down the engine and hand the reins over to the A shift. One by one, tagged out. My shift ends, the new one begins. They leave as they go. They'll be back in 48 hours, protecting San Antonio for another 24. At Station 19, Andrew Wafome, Fox News at 9.